Well, I'm quite amazed that um, there's been such a transformation uh, of Cardiff into a real centre of, of produ production for films and TV series and everything else. A great new industry for Wales. Um, and to certainly to see the scale of the uh, of studios here uh, is clearly quite remarkable, bearing in mind once it was a glass factory. Um, I think quite a bit of the glass seems to have been left behind, but I think that's actually just knocking down the sets from waiting to do the next production, of which I gather there's quite a backlog. Uh, first of all, the uh, Deputy Chairman uh, of Channel 4 was Richard Attenborough. He became 70 and uh, was coming up to 70, and I said to him, you know, what would you like to do to, for me to find your successor? And uh, I said, do you want me to set up a committee, uh, talk to the minister? And he just said to me, no, it's you, darling. Uh, I just began after the beginning of, of film four. And uh, we had, uh, we were really knocked back by um, a bit of early success, which I think probably, uh, we probably was entitled to, because one of the first films was Four Weddings and a Funeral. Um, and I think we hopefully got, felt that we were going to produce 40 of those, but of course that never happens in this, this industry. So there we go. But anyway, yes, I have that particular background, but I think more importantly, um, I'm sitting here in the studio at the Bad Wolf uh, in Cardiff, talking to you about the Iris Prize being in its 13th year. And I think that um, for those of us who, I didn't come in right at the beginning, but I came in to it a little way through when we were just not right broken through into the kind of festival as we would like it to be. And I think that it's absolutely remarkable that not only have we done 13 years in Wales, but not only that, but around us, while we've been here has been this a great emerging sort of film industry in Wales, which I think could never have been thought possible um, you know, in previous times. Um, and I think it's been, Iris has been actually part of the, a small part of, of what has actually created a new industry here for Wales, which I think we feel we can rightly say we've been a part of. The Iris Film Prize has a very, very important message to say. And that is um, that the way in which we will get um, a better understanding uh, of, the, um, of the world that we live in ourselves um, is through film. And if we can have film which is uninhibited and tells the story as it is, as which these short films do, they are, they are quite strong in many occasions for some people's taste, but I think it's absolutely essential that we actually do make films which bring up people with a bit of a start or a shock and realize what terrible difficulties people have had uh, in our world over the last 25 years. Of course, to put on um, the show at the, to the Iris, the Iris weekend uh, takes a lot of money. And we have actually been able to develop and expand significantly the number of organisations who are supporting us. Um, and I think this has really been the main reason why we've been able to be bold and to expand uh, the festival in the way that we have, and I hope it will carry on for the future. But we have to be also mindful that th these festivals can only keep up their momentum um, if people, A, can produce the quality films, of which I have no doubt they will be able to do, but also that we can actually produce the finance to make sure that the festival is viable. I think we've always got to be right at the cutting edge of whatever, however controversial um, the change is in society. Um, we've actually been, got to be ahead of that and to make sure that our voice is heard uh, among all those others.